What's going on, crypto traders? All right, so several of you have asked me to do an update on BTC dominance chart since I first posted that several days ago. Um, remember I said that we were potentially creating, let me get rid of this here, slide it back over, a cup and handle pattern. I said I didn't know if this was going to play out but I said that that 47% mark was notable or significant resistance. I didn't think we would hurdle it. And not to say I told you so, but told you so. Uh, look at this. We crossed that line on the daily and then people were asking me via DM, Hey, is that 47% invalidated now that we crossed it? No, guys, it's not ever invalidated till we cross and close on the daily and then reopen above and close on the daily. And preferably for, for some charts, I like to see a close above that level, whatever it is, at least twice, or I mean three times. So we cross, close, open, close, and open and close again a third time for it to really be cemented as a uh, a hurdle, right? like we've crossed a level. Uh, but in this case, you can see on the charts, we crossed on the daily, closed above it, opened the next day above it, but closed below it. That is not confirmation that does not invalidate that 47% barrier. And so what I had mentioned that I thought was going to happen is we go up into this resistance and then we come back down, test our purple support and possibly break through. And look where we are today. We have broke through that purple support and we are now sitting right on the 200 day moving average. Now, is this handle going to play out? That remains the question of the hour, right? Let me get out my cup again. And I'm going to just draw an imaginary handle here. And I'm going to completely speculate. Again, this is total conjecture. I don't know what the market's going to do any more than the next guy. I have uh, put my experience to the test here and noting these trend lines and these patterns and i have made note of the probability of certain things playing out and a lot of times that ends up coming true so again i'm not saying this is going to play out it is very bullish for uh, bitcoin in the long run or to the end of the year i should say not the long run but uh, for swing traders if it does play out but i don't know so typically, here's how we're going to figure out what this handle should look like. Um, a good cup and handle is about 33% of the total distance between the neckline and the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to use Fibonacci to figure this out. I'm going to draw a fib from the top of the neckline there, and I'm going to measure down to the bottom of the cup. All right. And so if we're going to, so this 0.618, that's about a 40% drop. Let's reverse this Fibonacci so we get a good um, level here. So it marks it exactly. And all right, get out of this. All right. So our 38%, uh, that's just a little bit more than 33%, but we can use that is right at $44. It's hard to see there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. All right, so I reversed the fib and our 30, our 0.382, that's 38%, is right at $44. So I'm gonna reduce this just a little bit. And that right there is where I would say, if this plays out, is gonna be the bottom of the handle. So, but again, we're, I don't think, I don't see us just breaking right through this 200 day moving average. I think what happens and what the 
powers that be like to do with people's minds and psychology is make them think that the direction has changed and it's going to go one way or another. So what we might ha have happen here is we go back up, test this resistance at 47% once again, and then that brings our 50 day moving average up again. Remember it's, it's headed up. It's set for a, a golden cross. It's going to cross that 200 day moving average, which right now is trending down. So I think we come up here, test this 47% uh, percent resistance, and then we drop right back down through that 200 day, form our bottom on the cup, that at which point the 50 day moving average might just kind of we might hit that 50 day moving average and that'll give us enough of a trampoline where we head up through the 200 day and through our resistance finally headed on the home stretch up on to like our, our next resistance here is way up here at 56 uh percent so you know that's very bullish for bitcoin and that could signify that we have an eighty thousand to a hundred thousand price point incoming before the end of the year uh anyways i wanted to give you this video because several of you have dm'd me asking for an update and you're using this btc dominance chart in correlation with bitcoin and the altcoins, which you should be doing, it's uh, the way to use this chart. And again, this dip in Bitcoin dominance does not necessarily indicate a dip in Bitcoin itself. It could just indicate that Bitcoin goes straight across um, at, while altcoins get stronger. Um, so that's very probable. This is just indicating how much dominance Bitcoin itself as a crypto has on the whole market, everything excluding Bitcoin. And so a dip in Bitcoin dominance does not actually correlate to a dip in Bitcoin. Could happen, and some, and most of the times it does indicate that, but we could just go straight across. If, we, if I took a look at uh, the Bitcoin chart here, might as well pull that up since we're here. If I pull up our Bitcoin chart, okay, so we have dipped below a, uh, a, a support that has been formed since September, but we're sitting right here on major support. So what I'm thinking happens for Bitcoin, that's, that's major support. I don't see us uh, necessarily going below that, although we could, but there's two ways to look at this. If we do go below, we're going all the way down here, guys. We're going to hit this support again. That's at 50,000. So if Bitcoin drops below that 61,000 support, wherever that's at, that trending up line, we go all the way to 50 and then we come back up again later on. That's one scenario. Second scenario is Bitcoin kind of just does one of these things and bounces around here on this support for a while. Pretty boring action. Wah, wah. And all the while, here's what altcoins would be doing while Bitcoin was doing this. You know, people get bored when their crypto of choice does not move. So then they move to others. And typically it goes Ethereum next and then some of the altcoins, some of the bigger market cap, then the smaller cap. But if Bitcoin decides to do this thing and float on top of this support, then altcoins could see some strength and they could go like that up uh so those are the two scenarios bitcoin either goes sideways for a period of i don't know two three weeks or it drops and we hit that fifty thousand support uh, i don't think bitcoin is gonna just go straight up from here especially from what i'm seeing on that btc dominance chart and also from what i'm seeing if you've looked at any of my other videos on the ethereum chart and the altcoins chart they're all indicating that bitcoin is taking a rest at this point or it could even uh draw back for a period of you know two weeks or so before it heads up and hits that 
on the Bitcoin dominance, fifty six percent, which would equate to about eighty to one hundred thousand, depending upon what the altcoins are doing. Um, so that's very good news for the longtime holders of, of Bitcoin and the swing traders who are going to plan on just holding Bitcoin through November or December. Me personally, I don't trade Bitcoin, but I use this and I use Bitcoin as an indicator of what the rest of the market is going to do. It's kind of like my leading indicator. I uh, hope this video helps. If you have any questions, comments, uh, hit the uh, like button and comment below. And I appreciate your support, folks. Have a good day.